Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently about 25 past 10 on the 15th, Sunday the 15th of May. My washing machine is downstairs sounding like it's about to take off. I'm currently reading Skeleton Crew by Stephen King. I'm catching up on my YouTube subscriptions because I've been away for a few days so I haven't had as much time to watch YouTube. So that's where I'm at. Tomorrow I'm going to the dentist's to get a crown fitted to my root canal that I had earlier. Uh, and then I've got loads of other stuff, loads of calls, very busy work week coming, but I'm going to try and do some filming and editing as well if I can. I also chatted to a guy called Newton Webb earlier, um, who's going to be the next guest on my radio show, so I need to edit that soon too. Dane Reads. Hello, it is me. It is currently 20 to 9 on the evening of Monday the 16th of May. I went to the dentist earlier and had, um, they started work basically on um, my, what's it, my crown for where I have my root canal. They also said I need to get three fillings. So I need to go back in June to get that sorted. Um, I put a deposit down to get a new tattoo today as well. So that was very exciting. And yeah, I've just been being productive really. I'm still reading Skeleton Crew by Stephen King. It's probably on for a four out of five. I've now read The Mist and The Jaunt, though, which are the two main ones that I wanted to get to. So I don't know whether I'm still gonna, you know, continue to be interested after that. I suppose we'll see. Uh, I made a stir fry for dinner earlier, which was very nice, and I currently have a rhubarb crumble in the oven. So I've got that to look forward to. Um, I had two calls, I had a call at noon and then I had uh, one of the writer Q&As that I do, I had that at 5pm, so I did that, and now I'm just being productive, I've got another call tomorrow at noon, I feel like I've got more, I don't know, no I think it is just that, I have a lot of work on though, so I need to kind of crack on with that later on, and I was just settling in to do some editing, but my Mac is doing this weird thing. I have to keep like restarting Final Cut Pro and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So, you know, that's kind of what's happening. I'm gonna have to give it a quick restart now and see if that fixes it. I'm gonna do a bit more filming and stuff as well. Oh, and I just listened to the Everly Brothers, um, one of the vinyl records that I bought while I was away, so that was good. And um, yeah, you know, just, just keep it on, keep it on. So I'm gonna, gonna go and do, I've got some reviews to catch up on, so I'm gonna go and film some of those. Someone is being very cute, aren't they, Biggie? Who's that somebody, who's that somebody being very cute? Is it you? What happens if I put my hand there? Oh no, no bites. Ah, blah, 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 blah. I kick, I kick and I bite. Okay, I'll leave you to it, I'll leave you to it, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, it's dark. Let's turn some lighting on. It is currently half past nine on Tuesday, the 17th of May. My cleaner came round today, so it's nice and clean. I actually filmed an updated house tour earlier as well. I'm still reading Skeleton Crew, but I'm near the end. I'm also very near the end of my Richard Dawkins. I've actually finished the main book. I just have the glossary left now, so that's going to be fun but at least I'll finish it off. And then I have um, an Aldous Huxley novel, which I think I'm gonna switch out as my next bedtime book, just cause it's got tiny print, really. I don't know, we'll see, cause if I start reading it and I'm enjoying it, then I'll bring it back out and I'll have to pick up. I don't really have any other bedtimey books. Maybe I should read my Paris Directions book as my bedtime book, actually. I might switch out and do that instead, cause I can start to tab out some of the places I'd like to visit while I'm there. Um, I have a, I had a call at noon, then another one at four, I chatted to Alex from the Bookish Report here on Booktube, because I'm going to be on his podcast, and I found out the call I thought was at 10pm tomorrow is at 10pm today, so that's in half hour, and I'm on that for a couple hours, and then I've got another call at noon tomorrow, so I'm going to be very tired, and I have another one at 3pm tomorrow, I fucking hate calls as well. Um, Biggie's here, he's just sitting in the window, he's been very needy and very meowy today, I've actually been a little bit worried about him, because he's meowing that much. Um, and we're out of treats, aren't we, Biggs? Aren't we out of treats? Yes. Yes, we're out of treats. It's it's an absolute outrage, isn't it? It's an absolute outrage. But we've been giving him lots of brushes because he's getting rid of his winter coat. He's still very fluffy, as you can see. Yes. Yes. You can say hello to the internet, people. You're going to attack daddy. He's probably going to sit here and get in the way while I'm doing my call as well, because that's what he likes to do. Isn't it, Biggs? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you. 
Greetings, it is the afternoon, it is about 10 past 4 on Wednesday the 18th of May. I am still reading uh, Skeleton Crew by Stephen King, I'm very near to the end though now, I have like, I don't know, 150 pages to go or something like that. Um, I have also finished reading The Extended Phenotype by Richard Dawkins. I give this a 2 out of 5 just because it's so difficult to read. It's not designed for the average lay person or whatever, it's much more designed at other biologists. So I read it as a bedtime book, slowly but surely got through it, and uh, I mean I'm glad I ticked it off, but yeah, I, I don't I don't know if I understood any of it to be honest. Little tiny bits of it, like little tiny bits of it. I'd understand like one page out of every uh, every chapter or whatever, and also the print was tiny. I mean, yeah, Google Home is going off. So I've now moved over to my next bedtime book, which is Paris Directions. Um, and I'm just reading this to kind of get an idea of what there is for me to see when I go to Paris next month. Um, so I'm, because I read my bedtime books whilst doing Duolingo, so it's quite a good little fit because it means I'm practicing French while flicking through this. And as you can see, I've tabbed out a bunch of stuff I would like to go to. Um, and this is pretty good for what it is, probably like 3.5, 4 out of 5. Um, so that's good. So I'm going to keep reading that as my bedtime book, then I have an Aldous Huxley one to switch to. I'm going to finish reading this Stephen King and then I've got Alan Bennett plays to go to. So that's where I'm at. Um, I had a call at noon, so I didn't sleep very well. The cat has been very weird, he's going between attacking me, as is evidenced by all these fucking scratches on my arms, to uh, to being really loving. So like at like 4am last night I was trying to sleep and he kept coming up and nuzzling me and I'm like, that's great mate but can you fuck off and leave me alone so I can get some sleep please. But anyway, that's where I'm at. Um, doing a few little garden bits today because I had some like new solar lights and a few other bits come in the post. Um, and I can take it pretty easy now. My next call isn't until, um, what time? until like 7 p.m. Uh, tomorrow. So hopefully I'll sleep well tonight. Hello, it is me. It is, Cur I don't have the light on as you can see. Uh, or the camp studio, whatever. Um, it is about half nine on Thursday the 19th of May. This year is just flying past. I have done a little bit of work on my novel Grebos, which is the one I've been working on for like 18 months and have barely done 10,000 words of. Um, so I've been getting back to slowly cracking on with that. Just I want to finish it so I can write the next Lightfold book basically, but time is a bit of a premium at the moment. I had three client calls today, all of which seemed to go well, and they're now all out of the way. I've got two interviews lined up tomorrow for my radio show, with no client calls, so far at least. So that's very good, because I need to kind of get ahead with my radio show for when I go to Paris. Um, so yeah, I'm going to crack on with that. I finished reading Skeleton Crew by Stephen King, that was a 4 out of 5, very good. Uh, no full review coming though, unfortunately. And I'm now reading, what is it called, Four Plays? Oh no, Plays One by Alan Bennett. So I'm reading the play 40 years on so far. And uh, I'm enjoying it. So I'm looking forward to doing a review. I'll review this and kind of cover each of the plays individually, I think. So that's going to be exciting. And then after this, I think I'm going to read The Scream of the Haunted Mask by R.L. Stein. Uh, I've also done lots of editing today, so that is always good. And... Um, yeah, that's where we're at. I don't have anything else for you. Very tired and quite anxious as well. But such is life. Greetings. I guess I'm just continuing my vlog. I don't know when I last updated you guys. I imagine it has been a while. I've been pretty busy with work and stuff. Um, what's new? I went to a tattoo consultation earlier this week um, to talk about getting my new tattoo done. So on this wrist above my it, I'm going to get a... It's going to be the Egyptian... Ankh with the Eye of Horus on it as well and there are a few reasons for that uh, the Ankh represents life and I have death anxiety so there's that um, it's kind of my nod to Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie as well I wanted to get something Agatha Christie and I couldn't think of what to get um, so Egyptian hieroglyphs are gonna have to do as a pointer to that uh, the Ankh also to me brings to mind Ankh Morpork which is the capital city of well it's a country is it a country and a city Anyway, uh, it's an important location in the disc world and various others, so there's like a, a bunch of deeper meanings to both the Ankh and the Eye of Horus, it's specifically the right Eye of Horus, I believe. Um, so yeah. Um, oh yeah, I had a I've just been looking at my Skype, I had a client Q&A earlier and all hell broke loose really, so 
we've been bantering about that, so that's kind of been funny. Um, my mum and my granddad are down as well, so they arrived this afternoon, dropped a bunch of stuff off, um, and then my granddad had brought his... Um, I'm going to do this the other way around, because if I sit like that, you can see my grim squeaker tattoo. Um, my granddad bought his um, power washer, jet washer thing, so we've been out in the garden jet washing all of the um, paths and stuff like that and all the steps and everything so it's looking really nice and clean and fresh out there now which is very cool um, tomorrow we're going to go into Marlow to go around the charity shops we might go for a little walk along the river have a picnic and uh, we'll see how that goes and then on Saturday I think um, I think I'm going to I think we're going just going for a walk around Wickham um, so that'd be good. And then Sunday, I'm like pretty much all day. I'm working an event for this client as well, doing like responses to a Q and A. Um, and then what's next week? Next Wednesday, I have my appointment to get my tattoo. And I'm playing a gig on Saturday at the Bull. So either the Bull or the Bell. I'm not sure. I'm playing, but uh, I've got gigs at both venues coming up. Um, I've been listening to a lot of vinyl as well. I've obviously been doing all my housework and my cleaner in earlier this week just to make it as nice as possible for when my parents visited, well, my mum and my granddad. Um, my toilet is playing up again, though. It started yesterday, so it's like great, typical timing. But everything else is looking really nice. The garden's looking incredible. Um, and I've got my solar lights out now. I'll see if I can show you from the window. Because I'm an idiot, I hadn't realised that you have to actually turn the damn things on. So there you go. You can see... Like, it's actually quite light out there because of the sheer amount of stuff. <laughs> Alright everybody, hello. I'm probably going to do my vlog today in sort of two chunks. So it's currently just before half seven on Friday the 27th of May. Um, went to Marlow with my mum and my granddad today, so we went around the charity shops which was lots of fun. Had a little walk along the river, went through Higginson Park and uh, we stopped off for some food as well. Then we went to a home bargains and had a mooch around that and then came back here for a coffee and sat out in my garden. Um, my mum and my granddad are back at their hotel now, they're watching the, the soap operas. Um, we're probably all going to have relatively early nights tonight because then we're going to meet up tomorrow. Um, just to have some like a brunch and then to mooch around the charity shops in High Wycombe. And then they're going to be heading home. And then as I say on Sunday I'm working on this event. Um, and the reason I'm going to split this up into bits basically is because I also need to give you my little wrap ups of what I have been reading but there's quite a lot um, and I film in shifts. I have a very weird productivity cycle which I can't be bothered to explain at this point. I think I did talk about it in a video at one point but, um, but yes that's what I've been up to today. Biggie's back there. Where is he? Hey Biggie! Hello! Yeah, you can see his little eyes just being a fluff ball. Is there anything else to update you on? I don't think there's anything else to update you on. I'm super tired though, so I probably won't actually be up that late tonight. Because uh, I didn't sleep very well last night. Um, despite having read a book about sleep hygiene and sleep health. So there is all, <laughs> all of that good stuff. Alright, anyway, I will catch you in a bit for another update. Alright, yo, it's me. It's now about 9pm. Played a little bit of guitar and stuff. I'm now going to talk you through the various things that I read. So I read Plays 1 by Alan Bennett, which contains 40 years on getting on habeas corpus and enjoy. Um, 40 years on was probably my favourite of that because it has a play within a play. Getting on was okay, enjoy was okay, habeas corpus was a bit air, but it did have some good lines in it. Overall, I gave all of the plays except for habeas corpus a 4 out of 5. I gave the overall collection a 4 out of 5. Habeas corpus got a 3.5 out of 5. A review of that hopefully coming soon. Then I read All My Sons by Arthur Miller, so this was a 4 out of 5 as well. Arthur Miller, he was married to Marilyn Monroe and he, he wrote a bunch of plays like Death of a Salesman and he wrote, was it The, was it the Crucible? I can't remember. the one. He wrote the one about the Salem Witch Trials anyway. Um, this is about a guy who manufactures engines for aeroplanes and he provides them to the military during the Second World War knowing that they have problems with them and then some of the planes crash and people die and it kind of follows his guilt and um, you know the way his family reacts to that. Then I read The Scream of the Haunted Mask by R.L. Stein, which is a Horrorland Goosebumps book. This was like a 3.5 out of 5. It wasn't as good as the original Haunted Mask, but I mean, you know, it's like the sequel series or whatever. Um, but it did have a really cool sort of short story towards the end. It did ha end on a cliffhanger to be fair, but I did enjoy reading that and so, you know, it was I. it was I. 
Then I read Kabumpo in Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson, which is uh, one of the Oz books from L. Frank Baum. This is written after he died. I'm reading this as a buddy read with Joel Swagman, although I'm quite a few books ahead of him. Um, the story was okay. I mean, it was nothing special. It wasn't the worst of the Oz books either. Um, but this edition was terrible because um, it's a cheap, like, public domain reprint. Somebody just putting this out to make money didn't care about the quality. So, like, to the point at which, because they've scanned in pages, there's, like, a page number halfway down the page and stuff. It's just really weird. Um, but, yeah, the story itself, like, 3.5 out of 5, copy 1 out of 5. Then I read Teach Your Cat Welsh by Anne Catebread. So, this is a humorous book uh, that's, again, about teaching your cat Welsh. So, Uiti Moin Cooch. Oh, no, wait. Uiti Moin Koch. Uh, do you want a cuddle? Can't, can't believe I said cooch. That's how it's spelled, the pronunciation of kutch. Yeah, it's kutch. Just, that's just what cuddle is. And then, like, what we got here? Um, Bliuiti, where are you? And all this stuff. Um, yeah, it was alright, it was cute. It's probably like a 3 out of 5. It's very gimmicky. Um, I only bought it because I was in Wales at the time when I saw it, and I have a cat. So those are the, t you know, only reason I can see why you would buy it. Then I read uh, Why I Am So Wise by Friedrich Nietzsche. This was a 3.5 out of 5. This has got some excerpts from a few of his books. It's got bits from Ecce Homo and Twilight of the Idols. Um, so really, if you've read a lot of Nietzsche, you've already come across this stuff anyway, even if you haven't read this particular book. Um, but this is one of the Penguin Great Ideas series. Um, and I'm actually thinking about getting a box set because I bought two more of those today. And I've read some others as well, like Why I Write by George Orwell I've, re I've read. It's got an excerpt of On Natural Selection by Charles Darwin. I've read the full thing. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, this is probably a four out of five. Good stuff, made me think a lot. And then I have Sleep by Nick Littlehales. Um, so this was recommended to me by Alex from the Bookish Report. Nick Littlehales is a sort of a sleep coach. He's worked with Manchester United. He worked with the gold medal winning Team GB cycling team. And this is basically his thoughts on the science of sleep. He does give a lot of practical uh, suggestions on how you can improve your sleep. I think he talks about treating it. Um, it's not like one bad night's sleep ruins everything. It's more of like a... I don't know, the cumulative effort across like the whole week. Um, and he also can, encourages you to think of sleep in terms of 90 minute cycles. I haven't really put anything that I read from it into practice. I've sort of tried, but the problem is, is you need to set, it, you need to establish a constant wake up time, right? Which would be fine, except I turn my alarm off in my sleep. It, I just can't wake up at like a set time. It just doesn't work with me. Um, like, yeah. I don't know. I, I might. I'm gonna keep trying to do some of the stuff in this. It's just not not really worked well for me so far, at least. But I gave that like 3.5 out of five, a low one probably. But there's some alright stuff in it. And now I'm reading Teachers Dead by Benjamin Zephaniah. So I find him to be very hit and miss. Um, some of his books are great. Some not so much. This is one of the better ones. Um, it's about a teacher gets stabbed to death at school, basically, and we follow one of the school kids as he kind of tries to come to terms with that. Um, and you know we see just yeah the way the school reacts to it the way his wife deals with the grief and all of this stuff it's quite hard hitting for a middle grade book it's not like amazingly well written but it's still pretty good um it's on course to be a four out of five but we'll see how we get on and then next i'm probably going to read the killings at kingfisher hall by sophie hannah but that will be for tomorrow um i'm hoping to get a relatively early night tonight and early for me that means i'll probably get into bed at midnight and try and be sleeping by one or I'll like be trying to try to sleep by one. We'll see how that goes. And then I need to get up about half ten tomorrow to go meet my mum and my granddad in Wickham to go for a browse around the charity shops. So that is the plan. Hello and greetings. It is currently uh, 20 to 10 on Saturday the 28th of May 2020. I had a bath earlier, so that was nice. Um, so my grandparents, my mum and my granddad went home today. Uh, I met them for some breakfast, um, and then they pretty much headed straight home after that. Uh, we did catch a little bit of the mail weighing ceremony, which is like a historical tradition that High Wycombe has. Basically, the idea is they weigh um, the incoming and outgoing mayor and councillors, and the idea is if they put on weight, it means they've been sort of misappropriating public money. Um, I happen to know the outgoing mayor as well, so that was kind of cool. We saw her weight, and she hadn't put on weight, so well done her. Um, but yeah, it's all a bit of fun. I think we're the only UK town that still does it, although it used to be kind of more prevalent just in various other places. Um, 
Other than that, I did have a little bit of a nap earlier, and then I've been being productive, really. I'm working for about five hours tomorrow at an online event, answering questions that the audience members have. Um, so there is that. Um, I have finished reading Teacher's Dead by Benjamin Zephaniah, it was a four out of five. And I'm now reading Sophie Hannah, The Killings at Kingfisher Hall, which is one of the authorised uh, Hercule Poirot stories. It's been, you know, she writes them, it's authorised by the, uh, the Christie estate. I've actually been reading a bit of Sophie Hannah in general as well, so, um, you know, it's just been enjoying, enjoying seeing that stuff. Um, and yeah, it's all good really. I think next I'm going to read The Stepford Wives by Ira Levin as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of filming now. I've done a little bit of work today as well. Might do some editing later if I get a chance. It depends how late I stay up because I, I have to be up at like 9am on a Sunday to work. Oh, welcome to self-employed life. So that's where I'm at. Didn't go to the charity shops. We were thinking about doing it but didn't in the end. Oh, and um, yeah. I'll see if I can show you. I think I showed you already but I've got some more lights outside now so these are my solar solar lights and looking very pretty cool hello i'm looking rabbit in the headlights see i don't know why it is currently about half past seven on monday the 30th of may 2022 so um busy weekend really yesterday i was doing this um client event from 9 a.m till 4 30 p.m which basically involved me being on Zoom and answering a bunch of questions. So I did that, and then literally as soon as I finished, I went straight to the art center for the Sunday Jam and ended up playing there. So we did Park Life, Shaking All Over, and um, Rainy Day Women by Bob Dylan. So that was good, people seemed to enjoy it. I played my um, electric guitar, which is one I made myself as well, so that's always fun. Um, yeah, then after that, we went to the Rose and Crown for a few more drinks there, so I ended up getting pretty drunk probably too drunk um, but it all is good um, been a bit hungover today so I've done a lot of sleeping um, I had a QA and a earlier that lasted a couple of hours and that went all right and now I'm just settling in to be productive so I'm gonna do some filming gonna do some editing prep tomorrow's radio show just generally be productive I need to tidy my house because it's a big old mess um, I think that's all I've got for you really I'm still reading the killings at Kingfisher Hill by Sophie Hannah it's on par probably gonna be a I don't know. It's going to be somewhere either a 4 or a 4.5 out of 5, I think, by the time we finish it, but we'll see. Because um, I haven't got to the denouement yet. But um, yeah, basically, it's a Poirot story, so that's pretty good. Um, the other thing is, about four different people told me I potted loads of weight yesterday, so I'm like, right, I need to, I need to try and lose some weight. So I'm getting back to my jogging. And I'm going to, not necessarily, well, I'm going to use my fitness pal to count calories and stuff, I think. So that is my, my plan. Um, today, it's been very odd odd weather, so I went out for a little walk to Morrison's in the rain earlier. Um, and it was nice, because it's kind of like hot and also rainy, which I think is a nice little combination. Um, but yeah, apparently, I think it's been a record low temperature for this specific day, so that's kind of interesting. Um, and yeah, I don't have anything else planned now. My next thing coming up is on um, Wednesday which will be Wednesday the 1st of June um, and I'm getting my tattoo so I'm getting an Egyptian themed tattoo which is going to be a nod to Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie so I've got that coming up and then that's it and then on Friday and Saturday I've got gigs both days so then on Sunday I might take it kind of easy and then the weekend after that I'm going to Paris mm. But yes, that seems like a good place to end this week's reading vlog. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.